thought what I would do um, is show this if I can. Um, yeah, we want to go live here. Let's just do it. Uh, welcome, everybody. Rob Booker here, uh, best-selling author of Adventures of a Currency Trader and Trading by Faith. We have a contract that's just about to expire right here, and it was unprofitable for basically the whole time it was open. And with one minute left to go, all it has to do is go below 89.12, and this is going to be profitable. So I'm going to try, if I can, and welcome, try and get this trade closed and not lose money on this trade. <clears throat> it's got 42 seconds left to go. It was up like 15 bucks suddenly. Oh my goodness, that was really close. So hope you're having a great day. <clears throat> Excuse me. Welcome, friends. All we gotta do is see this go below 189.12. 20 seconds left to go. There's no way I can close this profitably. It just has to fall below 89.12 by itself. And if it doesn't, then we'll just get on with our day and we'll just keep moving forward. And with nine seconds left to go, it's not going to make it. It's not going to make it. It's not going to make it. Three seconds left to go. So close. Oh my gosh. Two tenths of a pip. Within two tenths of a pip away from that trade closing profitably. Hey everybody, um, welcome, nice to see you here. I'm Rob Booker, uh, it's nice to be back, happy Monday, lost my voice singing the Steve Miller Band in karaoke on Saturday night. So uh, I hope you enjoy, you know, the sound of my Steve Miller Band uh, voice here. Couldn't be more excited to be back here at the desk trading, spending some time with you. Um, despite the fact that that trade that we just had was so close to being profitable. And for a moment there, I had it. Uh, today we're gonna look at um, some other charts. We're not just gonna sit here and I'm not gonna cry in, my, cry in my beer or soup or whatever about a trade that didn't go. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get back on it and we're gonna keep moving forward, always gonna move forward. And I wanna talk to you about um, an indicator that I like and some stuff I've been really enjoying looking at lately and maybe share that with you and uh, maybe just have a good time together and um, and then I'm gonna go to Starbucks if anybody wants to come with me you know that would be fine um, so what we've been talking about recently and you have probably watched a couple of these broadcasts on uh, the YouTube channel here what we've been looking at are these uh, reversal tabs and what reversal tabs are, and I described this in a previous video, but I'll go through them. There are these arrows that point up, or in this case over here, they point down. And what they indicate is that price could continue to move in the same direction as the arrow is pointing. And what I want to do is just show you once again, because I always get asked this question, and I do love to, to teach you what's going on here. Let's see if we can find it. Reversal. Reversal's code. There we are. All right, so I'll pull this chart up and um, we'll take a look at why these things appear for what purpose they appear and how we can use them. All right, so let's just reset the chart. This happened the last time I think we were doing this. I, I tried to pull up the chart and then everything was just like blank on the screen. And I was like, why are you, why are you doing this to me? You know, why? I didn't, I didn't do anything to the pound dollar. I didn't, no, it's just the whole thing is, the whole thing is out. Like the, the, all these, all, that's all just garbage. Why would it do that? What a jerk. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna draw it. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I don't know why it's doing this. What a dumb, what a, okay, anyway. So let's say price is, is let's say price is moving, you know, up and down and around like this. And let's say that a, a reversal arrow or a tab appears right there. What's happened when that occurs is the MACD sent signal line has crossed above the horizon or the zero line on the MACD. And at the same time that's happening, the stochastic oscillator is oversold. And what that is Referring to is the fact that there's momentum moving upward, 
but we still have lots of runway on the stochastic oscillator. And I, like I said, I have no idea why this chart, th this happened, er oh, there it is. <laughs> All right, well, now we're gonna be able to see an example of this, well, thank you. Okay, so here's what it is. There's an arrow pointing downward. That means the MACD line crossed through the zero line, and when that happened, the stochastic oscillator still was overbought. So it had plenty of room to go down farther, and that's why you see price moving steadily downward after the formation of that arrow. Now, here's the reason that I like it, and you don't have to look any further than the screen that we were just looking at on the pound dollar. It's a 15-minute chart. You don't have to look any, any farther than this. You, you, you get a combination of things together, and it becomes a system, and that system becomes super consistent, and then you've got a system and a strategy and a, and a routine for what you look at. So here on the chart, in, in just this area right here, we have several things going on that I think are particularly interesting. Down here, you have two green dots. Those two green dots are exhaustion, candle formations. The, the, an early warning sign that price is going to reverse. So one of these in particular looks like this. Long candle wick or shadow, small candle body, long shadow. That's a sign that the, the market has run out of energy for falling and is going to start having energy for rising. What you also have going on here in red is a Knoxville divergence. And I know you can't see it, so I'm just going to get rid of the picture in picture. And you can see it here. So this red line is right here. And that is divergence. And it's bullish divergence. And bullish divergence is this early warning sign that price is going to move in the opposite direction that it's been going. And, and divergence occurs when price has been moving in one direction, but um, but an oscillator is moving in the opposite direction. And, and to really get a good look at that, we can look at this Australian dollar Japanese yen thing that we just looked at, this, this chart right here. So we have bearish divergence up here at the top. So this red line up here. And that means that price has been moving up, but over the same stretch of time, the oscillator, the stochastic oscillator in this example, has been moving down. And that's bearish divergence. That's an early warning sign the price is going to fall. And it, and it did. It did fall from there. So we've got these two things lined up in our favor. Here's what we got. We've got divergence and we've got exhaustion candles. Those are both bullish. And then this reversal tab occurs and it's bullish, so we'll paint it green. And that means that even if it's just a small amount, we're going to move up from there. There you go. So that's a, that's a sign. Now we got one right here as well. Now it's not accompanied by any um, exhaustion bars or divergence. So I'm, even though that looks great, I might ignore that one. I might just ignore it because it's not accompanied by, uh, uh, I hate the word confirmation when it comes to trading, but it's, it's, it's not accompanied by confirmation. Okay, here's the Euro pound. It's a good example right here. See, this is really fascinating to me. So we've got a, a, a bearish reversal tab right here. Right there. And pre, right before that, we had an exhaustion candle. I love that combination. We could probably see, I don't know, we could probably see other, I don't know if the US dollar, Canadian dollar is any good for this, but. But apparently it is, so let's take a look at it. <laughs> um, let's go green, because it's bullish. So we've got this bullish reversal tab, or arrow. And right before that, we had bullish Knoxville divergence. And you might say, well, I don't know what Knoxville divergence is. Well, right below this YouTube video is a link to get my indicators. And guess what's included? The divergence indicator and that, and it's free. You just download it. Um, it's free for every trading platform in the world except for TradingView, and I have a contract with TradingView, so they charge a small subscription fee monthly for it. But if you don't want to use TradingView, I don't care. It's free for TradeStation. It's free for NinjaTrader. It's free for Sierra Charts. It's free for MetaTrader. It's, it's free for charting platforms that haven't be, even been invented yet. That's 
it's only partially true. Um, if you live in another dimension, you probably already have it for trading view. If you live in an alternate reality, you probably already have it. I mean, I don't even know if this works on something like a stock, but let's take a look at a stock here. Okay, we'll go back and look at a few examples. This is Tesla. I'm not sure that, that this is meaningful, but I figured we'd see one here because Tesla dropped recently. So here you've got, on this chart, you've got three of them within a short space of time. That is incredibly powerful. This says um, we just keep trying to go below the zero line and we can't do it and finally it broke and dropped lower. And that is a wicked strong combination. Now, um, here's a bullish one. There's bullish divergence and a bullish reversal tab. That's lovely. That's just fantastic. That's really glorious. Here's a bearish one. And you know, it, it doesn't work. It's, it's accompanied by an exhaustion bar over here. But this, this doesn't work. It doesn't go down very far, you'll see. It, it just doesn't really move anywhere. In fact, it goes the opposite direction. So you gotta, you gotta have some kind of a protective stop in place so you don't get, you know, so you don't get totally shellacked on these when they, when they don't work out, right? I mean, that makes, that makes a ton of sense. Um, so there's a little mini system, like a mini, little mini strategy. And the indicator is down below here on YouTube. If you're watching on Facebook, um, I suppose I could just put a link in the, in the Facebook video. I'll put it in later on. Um, but if you're on YouTube right now, I think the, I think the link's already below because we scheduled this in advance, which I really actually enjoyed very much. I hate, I hate those trades that lose. I hate that Euro pound that didn't work out today. And I, anyway, no use complaining about it, right? It's whatever. Um, so happy to spend some time with you. Um, I'll be back tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow at the regular time. Probably, you know, 9 a.m. Central U.S. time. I love you all. Thank you so much for being here. We're so close to 17,000 subscribers here on YouTube, and I'm really grateful to you for subscribing to the channel, for liking, for leaving a comment. Um, I'm just uh, super grateful. I, I couldn't be happier um, than when I spend some time with you every day here on the channel. Bye for now, everybody. Have the greatest time. Have the greatest day of all time and forever. I'm Rob Booker. I'll see you tomorrow.